Well, a fight is underway on Utah's Capitol Hill about whether or not you should be able to resell concert tickets or theater tickets. That's where we find Matt Gephardt. And Matt, you've reported before that some people have wanted to buy and sell tickets, but have been blocked. Yeah, that's right, Sean and Mark. You know, in the spirit of trying to make sure that tickets actually end up in the hands of fans rather than in the hands of ticket scalpers, a lot of artists and venues are trying to put these restrictions in place. One example we've reported on is not enough necessarily to show up at the door with just the ticket. You also have to show up with the credit card that was originally used to buy the ticket in order to get through the door. Well, now a debate on a bill uh, happening up here right now would make it so that those sorts of restrictions would be a thing of the past. I keep them rolling in. On the Z104 app. On Z104, DJs Dave Gunderson and Deb Turbin give away a lot of concert tickets. Let's hear it, Travis. You got two tickets. But for every country music fan whose day they're able to make, Dave and Deb hear way more complaints about the tickets that are not there. And that's where uh, the guys on the street corner come in. And uh, I've had friends do that and just pay outrageous. But they want to go so bad. They're willing to pay that. That's because, as we have reported before, you, the fan, are forced to compete with computer buying robots that buy up hundreds of tickets in the blink of an eye. And then scalpers turn around and sell those tickets back to the fans at jacked up rates. I think it's a bull myself. And the fact that that's legal, that's not cool. Some artists and venues have been fighting back on behalf of fans, putting rules in place that are aimed at making it very hard to resell tickets. It's a ticket bill that basically is a consumer protection bill. But Utah Senator Deidre Henderson says they have gone too far. She is sponsoring the Ticket Sales Act. It enables the purchaser of a ticket to lawfully resell the ticket with a few exceptions. Is this a pro-ticket scalper bill? Absolutely not. No, in fact, we're still allowing the ticket sellers to restrict the total number of tickets that they'll let someone buy at a time. So there's no restriction on that. It's just a consumer protection bill. If you buy a ticket, it's your ticket, and you can resell it on any ticket platform you want or give it away if you want to. That bill has already cleared all of the hurdles in the Senate. Today it was in a committee hearing on the House side. It passed unanimously. Its next stop is the full vote of the Utah State House. Back to you.